Hi there, good morning. The Scottish Government could announce the future of the controversial deposit return scheme later, saying Westminster had shot it down by not including glass. It's possible ministers could scrap it or postpone it until a UK-wide scheme is introduced. Here's our political correspondent, Andrew Kerr. The number of people dying who are dependent on opioids more than trebled here in the last decade, according to research by Caledonian University. It Services on Edinburgh's tram extension begin this lunchtime. Trams and lastly this morning, well-known voices from Scottish entertainment are joining calls for an older people's commissioner. Time to take a look at your weather forecast now and here's Cosser. And that's all from us for the moment, but I'll be back just before 8 o'clock with another quick update for you. Hope to see you then. Bye-bye. The headlines on Reporting Scotland this Wednesday lunchtime. Hello there, good afternoon. A 14-year-old boy has died after an incident at a school in West Lothian. Emergency services attended St Kentigern's Academy in Blackburn yesterday afternoon. The pupil was taken to hospital but died a short time later. Here's our reporter now, Katrina Renton. Suspended MP Margaret Ferrier could return to sit in the Commons and get paid while the official process to decide her future continues. Yesterday, MPs voted to suspend the now independent MP for 30 days. The Scottish Government is proposing a change in the law which would allow gross misconduct proceedings against police officers to continue after they've resigned. Services on Edinburgh's tram extension are now running. Just over an hour ago, passengers begun their journeys between Edinburgh Airport through the city centre and the Firth of Forth. Council officials say the three mile extra link brings a sustainable, reliable service to the north of the capital but critics claim it's not worth the cost and the disruption. Maura Kinnebra has this report. The number of people dying who are dependent on opioids more than trebled here in the last decade. That's according to research by Glasgow Caledonian University. The Scottish Government could announce the future of the deposit return scheme later. Ministers are consulting with stakeholders and businesses, but say Westminster has shot down the scheme after it refused to include glass. Now, it's school sports day season. All good fun for the kids, but the mum and dad's race can strike fear into the hearts of some parents who have not broken into a run in a while. Now, and we will be hearing more about the perils of the parents' races in this evening's Reporting Scotland at 6.30 tonight. Now, time to take a look at your weather forecast. Here's Judith Ralston. And that's all from us for now, but Laura Miller will have Reporting Scotland at 6.30 this evening. From everyone on the Lunchtime team, thank you very much for joining us. Enjoy your afternoon. Bye-bye.